Okay, so let's talk a little bit about showing off your castle. This is done through animation and it's pretty easy to use, kind of like a Prezi. If you go to view your animation, you can add a scene and the scenes will start to show up right along here. And wherever you're looking, that is the scene. So if I take this as my first scene, I think everybody should start off on their coat of arms and then zoom out. We can say view animation and add a second scene. So here we go, here's scene one. It's gonna start off right there and then zoom out. There are some options for animation and you can play with these. I want it to go fairly quickly, not sit there forever, but you can change the settings on how long it takes to go through from one scene to another and then how long it sits and looks at that scene. Depends on how interesting all your different pieces are. So let's go ahead and try and create another point of view here. So maybe after that we zoom out and show the whole castle. View animation add scene. Then maybe we come down here and rotate in and look at these spikes. So we can view animation and add scene. Now the thing that you want to be careful is that you don't then, oh and now let's go over here and look at something in this corner and say add that as a scene and you'll see why right now. So I'm going to add that as a scene and I'm going to go back to my first scene. What happens is it draws a direct line path. So I can now say animation and play. Maybe move that, learn to move that up out of the way. And it's going to go from one to the next. Then show me the whole castle. Now it's going to zoom in on those. So that was not too bad, but now as it tries to go to the next one, I flew through the wall. And that breaks the illusion. So you're going to want to very carefully set up your scenes and have midpoints, waypoints, where you're going to go to first and then down and look into detail. This next move right here just barely works because I don't quite go through the glass wall. But that I would like to avoid. And so you could have several scenes. If you label your different uh, defensive features or the different things that you have in your castle, then make sure that the labels are very clear and easy to read when you have the scene set. So that's adding scenes and animating. The best of these castles we will bring over to this capture computer and just let it run through the scenes and we'll be able to show off your work.